Hey, Riddle here. Check out my coronavirus hair. Herber, herber, herber. <laughs> it's getting so long. <laughs> One day I want to shave it all off, and the next day I'm like, Hollywood hair. Hollywood. Anyway, uh, I want to show you. I have been really uh, successful this year at keeping the birds away and keeping them off the fruit. Now we have a little bit longer to go before the berries are all really ripe. But this year, for the first time, we have a massive amount of blackberries, a massive amount of strawberries, cherries, and more. So I'm going to show you what is working for my birds so far. Now, you always have a safe bet with your bird netting. It's relatively inexpensive, but it's kind of difficult to cover things with the bird netting. And I think you could also injure birds uh, so you have to be careful of that because then you have a whole nother liability. I want to show you this holographic tape you can buy by the roll on eBay. And I hang it on everything and I've actually seen it in the fields here, in the berry fields. So the actual professionals are using it, the professional berry growers. And you just hang that everywhere and it kind of uh, freaks out the birds by the shininess and the motion of the tape. So you see I have that everywhere. The second thing that I invested in, which seems really silly, but is one of these owls. So a lot of rodents and birds just don't want to take the chance of this not being real. So I've had him mounted up here for about two years and I just have to put him in place from time to time. Now this is where my raspberries are growing and as you can see they are giant this year. I have one plant coming up from the ground and it's producing hundreds of uh, berries and it runs probably 300 feet. So what I've also done is I was at the dollar store and they had these really nice snakes, rubber snakes. And so I only had a couple of them left because I think there's other clever gardeners out there trying to snatch them up. So see them right there? It looks so real. And what I did is I bought all of them that I could, which was only three. And I've hung those very uh, conspicuously in the berries and the birds again they and, and other things don't want to take a chance that that is not real so those are my three things that seem to be keeping the majority of the animals uh, birds especially off of my berries and fruit this year we've got fake snakes we've got reflective tape and we've got plastic owls so you're kind of just using all these Trojan horses of nature to create the illusion. Now I went online and tried to find rubber snakes inexpensively. It was crazy. They wanted like seven bucks for a decent snake. <laughs> seven bucks? I want to pay a dollar. After I've paid a dollar, I'm all spoiled from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck finding affordable snakes but uh, I guess it's worth the investment of at least one or two at six or seven bucks if you have to all right that's it take care of yourselves and take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on the streets is our ultimate reality and with our utter and complete lack of leadership right now in this country we are going to be more dependent on each other than ever bye <laughs>